Hey, Chris. Hey, Rod. Hey, Auntie Microsoft Rob. This is Auntie Apple and Auntie Android Roman calling from uh, calling in from New York City. I was listening to your latest podcast and your discussion on whether NFC solves any problems. That, uh, it really solves any problems. And I wanted to jump through my phone and go down to wherever you guys are and just go, Chris is right! Chris is right! NFC solves every single problem imaginable! Just getting rid of the stupid, bulky, ugly lump of leather, paper, metal, and plastic that hurts my ass when I sit down on it is chief among them. But there are tons of things that NFC solves and Apple just didn't feel like putting it in, frankly, because they wanted a technology that was proprietary to them. For one thing, here in New York City, NFC is springing up all over the place. I see NFC payment, uh, I see NFC ter uh, terminals at the turnstiles to get on the subway. So pretty soon, all I have to do is tap my phone and pay to get on the subway. It would replace this stupid, ugly lump of plastic that they're going to be charging a dollar for pretty soon. Yeah, you know what? Bye-bye. Don't need you. I'm seeing NFC in tons of other places. I see NFC at Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, Dwayne Reed. They all take NFC. Some restaurants here in New York City are taking NFC. I've seen takeout joints that ha uh, that have NFC uh, uh, takeout joints where the cashier just uses their phone because they have an NFC. They also use Square and a whole bunch of other different methods. They're moving into the future, slowly but surely, but definitely surely. Uh, let's see. Now, more and more people are getting used to the NF uh, idea of NFC and tapping uh, your phone against things thanks to advertising. Here in New York, a lot of advertising uh, types have NFC built into them, especially Samsung advertisements. They've been putting NFC into their phone to, av uh, av uh, to, uh, to advertise the Samsung Galaxy 3. So you tap your phone against the ad and you can get music from the Goody Mob. So people are getting used to the idea of tapping your phone and getting something out of it, or tapping your phone to do something. This stupid little card here, the reason why N uh, the NFC element in this, uh, this stupid little card has been defeated is because we are so used to just swiping it. It's defeated by its form factor. You give people this card and they're going to uh, give people this card with an NFC element in it, most people's instinctive reaction is to swipe, not to tap. With a phone, that's no longer an issue because the only thing you can do is tap your phone. And boom, you've already paid. And by the way, if it's too easy in method to getting rid of your money, then you need to get rid of your credit card in the first place because that's a good way to get rid of your money. That's an excellent way of getting rid of your money like that. Now, I managed to, uh, I used to have that problem myself, but at some point I kind of learned that I need to stop the spending. I'm 31 and I stopped using cash like five years ago. Very rarely do I use cash and when I do use cash, I go over to my bank, which the ATMs also have NFC. So there goes the bank card in its entirety. Uh, QR codes was brought up in previous episodes as a method of making payments with your phone. Now, I used to own an HTC HD7, and that was a nice first-gen phone as long as you didn't mind the crappy screen. The QR codes and barcodes would work at certain places and not at other places because the scanners aren't universal. Right, so you could use the QR code in some places and in other places, if you had a crappy low-res or mid-range screen, not so much. And frankly, every time I had to use the QR uh, use the QR code or barcode for my phone, I always had to clean the screen off. At that point, I might as well just take out my wallet and uh, use the card. What's the point? I have to buff my phone in order to make a payment. And by the way, here in New York City, interesting phenomenon. I don't know if uh, I, I think this exists squarely in New York for some reason. But when people drop their phones and it breaks, they don't take it in to get fixed. I don't know why. I've seen screen, uh, screens so cracked, you can actually see underneath the display to the circuitry. I could actually see the battery in some phones just by looking at the screen. And people keep using them for some ungodly reason. 
And if the screen is cracked, QR code becomes useless. So why even bother? Now, on another episode, not this past one, you guys brought up an uh, app in order to make a payment at a store. Yeah, that works out great as long as you don't mind having every store's app on your phone. Uh, not so much. I, not my phone has precious resources. Uh, I view my phone storage as a precious resource. I'm not going to fill it up with every store's app. Not happening. And as Apple themselves have proven, that's not always reliable. Remember when, uh, remember that guy who recently got taken to jail for shoplifting over one item that didn't get included in the Apple Store's app's checkout? Yeah, you can't always count on the store erring on, oh, he made a mistake, so just let him go pay. No, that's not going to happen. I, it, after, the, uh, after seeing that, Personally, I would rather go to a register, scan each uh, scan each item, uh, scan each item, and then just tap my phone and pay. Much easier. So yeah, NFC solves many problems with mobile payments. And frankly, I would rather my receipts get kept on my phone in that uh, phone once you really start talking about it, because I don't keep the receipts anymore. And if I need to return something, yeah. You know what I mean? So something else about uh, having your wallet built into your phone and having it be actually useful thanks to NFC. I, I've been mugged about 20 times in my entire life. A majority of them here in New York. Nine out of 10 times I got mugged, it was here. Uh, don't ask for the details, long, long story. But, it seemed, being somebody's been, uh, been mugged has had to go through the aftermath of being mugged, which means calling up my bank, getting all those discount cards back, uh, uh, getting my ID back. That's a pain in the butt. Uh, calling up those cards. <laughs> Each individual company, that's fun. I have spent a grand, uh, I've averaged it out. After being mugged, it's taken me about two hours to get Every single one of those cards stopped and report all sorts of things lost, uh, all sorts of things lost and or stolen. It's a pain in the butt. I really don't want to have to do that. Especially since in those two hours, somebody's basically gotten my ID, they've gotten the card number, the expiration date to the card number, card numbers, and the security code on the back. They can run amok with that. Now, when my phone was stolen, I actually reached over and grabbed somebody else's phone. Well, I didn't steal their phone. Uh, I got my friend's phone, logged into my account, and bombed my phone. The entire time took about three minutes. In three minutes, my phone was bombed. That beats two hours having to deal with DMV, bank, credit card companies, etc., etc. Don't want to have to. De uh, uh, you tell me which one's better. The two hours you have to deal with, with this stupid lump of plastic, or the three minutes you can get from your phone. And oh, by the way, with NFC, all I would have to do is log back into my account on a phone with a secured NFC element, and all my information pours back to me, rather than waiting weeks in order to get my cards back. Yeah, see, there's NFC solving a problem. Uh, Frankly, NFC solves many, 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 many problems. It gets rid of the stupid, ugly lump of plastic, like I said, that amongst many things hurts my butt when I sit down. Now, you guys actually demonstrated a problem earlier on in that latest episode that NFC would actually solve the Bluetooth issue. Uh, getting in a car and having the phone sync with the car in order to play the music and control it and make calls and all the other things. Guess what? All you would have to do is tap your, uh, if NFC is built into the center console, all you have to do is just drop your phone on that center console, NFC tells the car to sync to that particular phone's Bluetooth and to temporarily or permanently disregard the other phone, and you can have as many phones as you want sunk up to that car, but it's only going to read that one phone that's against that NFC element. 
boom, problem solved. No more having to dive into settings, then connect, and all the other rigmarole you have to go through, just as Chris pointed out earlier on. Again, Chris, genius. Thank you for understanding the, necess uh, the necessity of NFC. Um, but, you know, back to the ID thing you guys were talking about earlier on, because I know it's going to be brought up once this thing, uh, once I'm done recording. Um, at the end of the uh, day, your driver's license is a lump of plastic with your picture and a number. Within 30 minutes, I can have an out-of-state driver's license that most bartenders can't be fooled by and most cops can't be fooled by. Your phone has a lot more identification points than that stupid lump of plastic. Your phone number, your IMAE number, your account on that phone is a uh, phone and having a level of encryption on that phone that could make it impossible to have that ID on more than one device would be a lot better than that, again, I say, stupid lump of plastic. The reason why governments haven't jumped on this, I'm just going to uh, say it right here, right now, the reason why the government hasn't jumped on this, it's because they're the government, it takes them forever to do anything. It took them weeks to get ice to the, uh, ice to, uh, uh, get ice to the, to the stadium during Katrina. They can't do anything efficiently, it takes forever ever for the government to do anything and the reason why apple didn't do it why apple didn't put it in the iphone is because it's not proprietary they can't claim it as their own you know like airplane yeah that's why nfc wasn't in the latest iphone so yeah looking forward to the next episode guys and i just want to say again nfc is necessary it solves every problem Later, Chris. Later, Rod. Bye, anti-Microsoft Rob. <laughs> Take care.